when YouTuber Justin Bieber released his first album in 2009, he instantly became an international sensation, his catchy love songs and boyish good looks earning him the title of heartthrob in a matter of months. However, in more recent years, the Biebs has shifted his focus from pop songs to spiritually centered music, with a few tracks on his Purpose album containing religious themes, and an upcoming album that will supposedly be dedicated to his spirituality. Bieber's first two albums, My World and My World 2.0, feature teenage love songs such as One Less Lonely Girl, Somebody to Love and his world-renowned hit, Baby. About a year or so after his first album went public, Bieber toured worldwide, with most of his shows featuring a sellout crowd of tweens and teenage girls, myself among them. Within just two months of its release in 2010, My World 2.0 broke several Billboard records and went platinum. So it was no surprise when the 16-year-old Bieber almost instantly ruined his public reputation, his sudden fortune and worldwide fame proving to be too much for him to handle. While Bieber remained a teen heartthrob image during his My World phase, his change in reputation from good boy to douchey can be marked by the release of his third studio album, Believe, in 2012. While the album was being recorded, headlines of Bieber in handcuffs appeared, pictures of the underaged pop star drinking were posted on the internet and stories of Bieber blatantly disrespecting his fans circulated. In addition, several crew members revealed how Bieber could be harsh during recording sessions, claiming that he had a track record of hurting feelings. His apparent recognition of his douchebag tendencies led the singer to completely shift his focus, alter his social media activity and reinvent his public appearance for his Purpose album. Most of these changes stemmed from his return to the Christian faith, an aspect of himself that he was very open about during his My World years, and his spiritual progression has been visibly documented in both his music and social media activity. This shift in tone is not subtle, either. While Bieber's 2011 Christmas album, Under the Mistletoe, is technically considered religious, he clearly wasn't interested in showcasing his spirituality I mean, have you heard his rendition of The Little Drummer Boy? Not only does he rap while performing this Christmas classic, but Bieber also blatantly disrespects the Bible when he spits the following line, and I only spit heat cause I'm playing for the sun. Playing for the king, playing for the title, I'm surprised you didn't hear this in the Bible. However, the spiritual tracks on purpose have much more positive connotations. For example, in track 10 of Purpose, Life is Worth Living, Bieber emphasizes forgiveness, as he calls on believers to forgive his childish behavior, praying for a miracle, who'll show you grace. Although Bieber was once arrogant and sure of himself, he states that God must give us direction and show us how to read a map for life's twists and turns. Toward the end of the song, Bieber compares his depiction in the media to Christ's crucifixion, and states how he refuses to be oppressed and criticized in the public eye, what I get from my reflection is a different perception from what the world may see, they try to crucify me. Similarly, in the purpose track Where Are You Now, Justin Bieber links his Christian beliefs to romantic relationships, see, I gave you faith, turned your doubt into hoping, can't deny it. Bieber emphasizes the significance of faith in many purpose songs and tends to post religiously on social media as well literally. On his Instagram page, Bieber has made several direct references to Christianity and Catholicism. This past September, he advocated for the Black Lives Matter movement, claiming that we are all God's children and we are all equal. Similarly, though less politically motivated, Bieber made several lengthy Instagram posts proclaiming his appreciation for both God and his fan base in August 2017. For example, in hopes of providing relief for struggling believers, the pop sensation sent the following message to his millions of Instagram followers August 2nd, What if I told you there's a God willing to meet you wherever you're at? What if I told you he could take away your pain, shame, guilt, and fears? Jesus. While his Twitter is much less active than his Instagram, Justin Bieber tends to tweet about cities and countries enduring tragedies, claiming to pray for them. 
His most recent spiritual tweet concerns the Santa Fe shooting that occurred this past May, praying for Santa Fe. In line with his new public image, reconnection with his faith and eagerness to share his beliefs with others, British newspaper, The Sun, recently reported that Bieber plans to incorporate spiritual themes into his upcoming album, which is set to debut in early 2019 or, if we're lucky, later this year. So when, exactly, did his spiritual epiphany occur, and why? Well, Bieber credits most of his newfound religiosity to Hillsong Church in New York City, where he attends service weekly. The pastor of the church, Carl Lentz, plays an extremely large role in Bieber's life decisions and has impacted his romantic relationships and familial bonds in previous years. However, Lentz had never overstepped his bounds into Bieber's career until this past July, when he encouraged Bieber to cancel the remainder of his Purpose tour. Shortly thereafter, the singer's posts on social media became spiritually focused, and he began to spend increasingly more time with Lentz, to the dismay of many believers. Although fans have yet to hear from the Biebs himself, many of his closest confidants have confirmed that he is on the lookout for songs which really reflect where he is in his life in terms of spirituality. If his increasingly religious social media posts and underlying themes in purpose are any hint as to what his upcoming 2019 album will be, there is a very new Justin Bieber on the horizon.